WPL box. What's this in the barn? Yes. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another radio control journey. If you're new here, consider subscribing, helping the channel out. I would really appreciate it. Today for review, we have a WPL D42, basically a Daihatsu high jet um, taxi. Very popular little minivan over there in China. And I'm definitely excited to see what changes they've made since the D12 um, and what makes this thing tick. To support the official WPL website and to help the channel out, consider checking out the links below. Let's dig into it. All right, I know you guys don't want to watch me open a box, so let me get this open real quick. Uh, I can't even remember what color I asked for. This is straight from WPL. Your guys' is going to look a little different. More than likely, it's going to be in English. All right, I used to be affiliated with Banggood, for those of you who watched the very beginning of the channel. And their shipping was ridiculous. I know a lot of you guys already know. And WPL's is always flawless. So for those who think that they're going to receive something bad, or if you do receive something bad, I've never met an RC manufacturer's customer service as good as WPL's. Um, got a couple pretty big nicks in here, and I bet everything's still fine on the other side. So let me dig this gem out. Edward, you sly devil, you. Love it. Love every minute of it. So here we are, like I said. It's all in Chinese. Yours will not be like that. Box art is nice. Figured by now I'd learn how to read Chinese. Seems like the second or third hardest language to learn how to read in the world. All right, so yeah, there it is. Um, one tenth scale, 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, I don't remember what color I asked for, so let's dig further. All right, we got instructions. Not bad. Showing how to slap her together real quick as far as the accessories and the sticker positioning. Of course you can do it however you want to, but that's always nice. Stickers, plastics, charger. See an extra drive shaft piece in there. I love how they send the reflective mirrors. It's nice. Got a yellow one. I think everybody got a yellow one. Seems like it. All right. Nice. All right, you guys. While you guys sit there and admire that beauty, let me cut my finger off. So yes, USB charger, output 7.4 volts, 500 milliamp hours, the same standard stuff, super nice soft coating on the transmitter with the shift button or the dual rate button so you get better steering. Loving the taxi. Not sure if I'm going to make mine a taxi or not. I don't know. You guys comment below on what you think. What direction should we go with this? I've never had a Scooby-Doo van RC. And I think that would be pretty cool. So here's the accessories we can slap on real quick. I'm wanting to tear it apart for you guys. So I don't know if I'm going to do this right away. They will definitely be installed for the running video. Of course your stickers that are basically made for lights to shine through them. I've always loved WPL's sticker game. It's perfect. It is on point, shall I say. Even these. So yeah, not bad. Easy to drive one hand so you can film, get some videos going. Um, like the interior. 
can see in there. I like how this time they got a sticker that lay in the back of that. So it'd be real easy to put a quick little LED back there to get some realism. No door is open. And it is a plastic mold. It is not painted like the D12 was. That was a really cool feature about that. I like the molds in the bottom with the exhaust. That's nice as well. The D12 kept opening on me. 2S 7.4 600 milliamp hour. Pretty sure the last one was five. Can't remember so many of them. So that's cool. Paint that silver. A little exhaust. Single leaf spring. Drive shaft does have the screw on it in both spots. And the drive shafts have been getting beefier, of course. So the reflective mirrors that you sticker on are nice. They always add a nice touch. I like the third row seating. That's really nice as well. Um, looks like the body comes off with same type of screws the D12 had. The steering is just crazy. So much steering. And if you can see, they do have the slide cantilever. Kind of like the, um, or the sliding mechanism like the Twin Hammers and the D12. Which the Twin Hammers is one of my favorite vehicles. One of my favorite RC cars. That looks cool. There's a little pop out there. You can see from inside. Big steering wheel. I like it. It's going to be easy to add a lighting kit. Yeah, definitely going to be easy to add a lighting kit with the way they're hiding their, their lamps now. Behind that one can be painted black. Did the same with the rear. That's nice. Hard tires. Very nice RC car. Um, front suspension seems stiff. It needs to be softened up. Really all you have to do is kind of bend like a paper clip back. That's kind of how the suspension is. Bend the paper clip back and go from there. So not bad. Let's tear into some of the drivetrain and see what makes it tick. Alright, let's take a look at that rear diff gear before I forget. Alright, two thumbs up WPL. It is not brass. We are moving away from the brass. I am excited about that. the body. Here's the chassis. Not bad. This would definitely be a really good platform for other builds. Um, like Revell models. If you had like a Nova or something you wanted to build. It's a very good platform for that. Me personally, I haven't matched it up to any models, but that's definitely what I see myself doing. So there's your 360, I think, 370 motor, maybe 260. Going straight to the transmission, going back to the rear, and the front is independent, stiff, and there's that wire I was saying you might need to bend. It's acting as an anti-roll bar, but it's suspension, if that makes any sense. And big servo. super tight turning so it almost looks like the treads a little different than the D12 all right they are the same you can see that it's old D12 tire and so if you, I can she's a little mangled there's my D12 chassis and then there's that chassis can see it is, I would guess, about a half an inch to maybe an inch shorter. And as far as width, I 
they are exactly the same width. But the axles won't meet up. And I converted my D12 to coil suspension. And it's, she's bouncy. But she's a work in progress. Just now getting back at it after surgery. You guys read, read the information. So yeah, let me slap this back together, charge the battery, and throw everything together. Alright, so after slamming two double A's in here, ooh, that's second gear, first gear. Big difference. Not so much that direction. But still, I'm sure it's turning faster, harder. No burnout mark. Alright, let's run over something. You can see how soft the rear suspension is compared to the front. I'm sure if you start putting some characters in here, it'll load it down some. I definitely think WPL nailed it with this one. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it a taxi cab or not, but it's definitely something, something you can tell is pretty tough. And like I said, I love their part support. You can definitely expect this to be just as strong and robust as the D12. Might be a little bit on the top heavy. Stickers in there. Of course the dash sticker, which is incredibly hard to do. You are right, Edward. So yeah. WPL D42. A quick note, the vehicles you see behind the WPL D42 are vehicles I plan on finish building and then also doing a video over, a review, anything you guys want to know. So, got a lot of new stuff planned for this coming year. Hope you guys are ready.